Hi guys! Hi guys! Yeah, uh, this month's all's it, not all, this month's products are in. So we'll get cracking with these. And uh, I've got two more items which I'll leave till last, but here we go. This is adorable, I've never seen anything like it. This is a water dispenser <clears throat> for small pets. I've tried it out with uh, putting water in and what you do is you put it under the tap like that, fill it up and then when you put it down the water just stays there. I don't know how it does it, it's amazing. But it just stays there. Now if you like this and you're thinking oh I want one of them then uh, I want to warn you right now because I'm not too sure myself but I don't think It'd be good for a robo because I have this fear that a robo might climb in and get stuck in there. You see, I don't know, I mean, like I said, I've not had a robo, but anyone who has a robo might be able to clear this up straight away and say, no, that'll be fine, or oh, no, I agree, it won't be. I'm not even sure about dwarfs either because their heads are tiny, they might get their, their heads stuck in it. But... You can always supervise them, like bring it out like at playtime and just see how they go. But I'd say it's definitely okay for Syrian. Again, I'm not sure about Chinese. I don't know about Chinese hamsters. But it's okay for Syrian. I'd say it's okay for um, a gerbil. It's definitely okay for rats. And it's advertised for hedgehogs as well, but again, I don't know about hedgehogs. But I should imagine because they've got small mouths, they'll be able to get uh, water out of it because it sort of comes up to the. So it's. I think it's quite neat. It's a good invention. <laughs> I wish they they bring a cat version out like this because you, you can only get them in plastic with cat ones, and I don't really like using plastic on cats because um, it's supposed to be bad for them. So I like going ceramic and stuff. So I wish they'd bring out another version for cats and dogs. Oh, and even a bigger one for rabbits and guinea pigs. You know, do different sizes. Uh, now, again, I'm not sure about guinea pigs or rabbits. I don't need to be able to get the little tongs in that. But, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's really nice. But if anyone um, has one of these or has a robo, and... Uh, been called, uh, it won't be okay, or yes, it will be okay. Just let me know because when I get a robot, I'd be interested in knowing. Um, obviously, <laughs> I'd use my common sense, but um, but to me, I think it just look they all looks a bit uh, a bit big for um, a robot. It might get its head stuck in there, but I'm not quite sure again. But I definitely definitely use it on a serium, and um, but again. When you think about it, when the water, when the water, when it's filled with water and the water comes up to here, I should imagine no hamster, even a robo, would probably like um, try and get their head under this. They know it's all full of water, so it's a bit of a tricky one, but it's worth considering. So I got it in blue, and I got it. This white one's beautiful. I got it in white, and I also ordered a pink one, but the pink one's not come yet. <coughs> Now, I don't use the light water bowls for hamsters. I only use one temporarily, as you know, when, um, when Casper was really sick, when he had that neurological... Uh, not neurological, I keep saying neurological, it isn't. When he had his, uh, his vestibular infection. Um, but I, 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 I took it out now because he doesn't need it. But um, if he doesn't need, did, uh, did need help again, I'd use this because it's smaller and they can't fall in it. But so it's good if you've got um, an hamster that, that uh, needs a little bit of a help or any pet like that, small pet. So that's nice. It's really, really good. And then uh, I paid six ninety nine for each of them. So it's well worth it. And uh, I've tested both of them a few times, put them under the, when I washed them, I'll put them under the tap as well. I'll put it under like that, let it flow and then you slowly tip it. And then you put it down and all the water comes out and just stays there. I don't know how it is magic. I don't know how it does it. 
Unless it's something to do with science, like gravity, I don't know. But yeah, there you go. So get them out of the way. So that's them. And then uh, I think you've seen one of these in Arabella's, but I got two. Uh, this is the second one. I've tried Casper with it, but um, he prefers his bended bridge. But I will try him again. But these are good if you've got the same cage as me or you're thinking of getting the same cage as me. You know, the um, the Dunamaxi. Because the water all um, is high up. Uh, it's a bit tricky for a uh, small, like, dwarf hamsters. So this is perfect. I mean, Arabella on hers, she gets, she climbs up, stays on there and gets to the bottle really, really easily. So this is perfect. <clears throat> and the good thing about this is it won't rot or get mould. I've noticed with the bendy bridges, oh, I have to throw them away after a few weeks and replace it because the water seeps behind it. And then it goes into the rock, the rock that's underneath to keep it balanced. And before you know it, it's oh, I have to keep a spot check on that every couple of days to make sure there's no mould growing. But with this, this won't happen. It won't happen. And it's got the Kaleidi all under there as well, like so. Now I've got two of these. I've got a green one as well. But the green one's not come yet, so that'll probably be in the... Uh, the next one but uh <laughs> i ordered the green one off um, amazon and uh i thought oh that's cute and i didn't know which color again because it said random and then when i went to press at home they started selling them but they already had a green one so i thought well i'm not getting that i'll wait till the green one comes i've already paid for it and ordered it so i've got a pink and a blue so yes i got these two from pets at home and they're adorable so that would be our bellas when I let's clean out the cage, come I'm doing all pink. So um Arabella will have a nice pink cage. <laughs> or she'll say pink themed. Pink wheel, pink houses, everything. This will be Casper's. This will be blue. And this is so adorable. I really like this. Little mini mini more um, castle. In a, uh, like the size and shape of an igloo. <laughs> yeah, so that's cute. As cute as a button. Right, guys, so that's these one in this segment. And then uh, the other the other two items, I'll, uh, I'll quickly assemble, then film them, edit all the video together, and it'll just be one video as usual. And, uh, yeah, guys. So, uh, before I go and get the others, I'll just let you have another look at this. There you go, guys. You let me know what you think about that. If you, would you say it's suitable for Robo? I mean, would they be crackers enough to go to try and get in there when it's full of water? I'm not too sure. <laughs> I've never had a Robo. <laughs> Personally, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just stumped, I don't know. But it's so beautiful and uh, I'd definitely say uh, a Syrian would be fine in that. A Syrian can't get in there, definitely. And um, to be honest, I don't even think uh, a, um, what they got, a Russian would get in there either. I'm not too sure. I'll let you know, I'll try it out with Arabella. And just see what she thinks of it, and uh, I won't put any water in it, I'll just keep an eye on it. And if she tries to get in there, then I know then it's not suitable for dwarfs, just the uh, bigger side of uh, pets. But I really adore it, I just love it. And it's and it comes in handy if you really have got um, a poorly, uh, poorly um, pet, you know, poorly broadened, because it's not just designed for hamsters. Yeah. So there you go guys, so I shall be back in a minute. Hi guys, back again. Right, these are just three more items. Now, <laughs> I've not screwed these together, so I'm not going to touch them. So I'll just let you see them as they are. Um, I will be screwing them together before I use them obviously, but I'll just quickly assemble them. So this is the corner unit and it's gorgeous, lovely pink and um, really, really nice. And uh, yeah, I've also got 
these two items in blue as well but because uh, they're the same things I you know what you know what the color blue is like I've had these sort of stuff before so I didn't want to reassemble them as well but I got a pink and a blue so that's big enough for a serian so you can use that for either hamster whatever hamsters you've got perfect this one is also for a serian as you can see it is really really large I'd say this is definitely more suitable for Serian to climb up. You've got these little ladders. Then they go onto that one, onto that one, onto that one. You could put a ball on there, no problem. Uh, this one, you could put some ladders or stuff, and they could climb on top if you wanted to make use of that space as well. So, or you could just leave it bare. Uh, a Serian will probably climb up that with no problem anyway. Oops. So... But a dwarf, if you want to go on there, then just use some bendy bridges or whatever. Use your creativeness. This one is uh, still okay for dwarfs, especially under there. As you can see, you can get right under there and they've got a little, little tune there. <laughs> so they can use that as a nice nest. And if they wanted, they could get up there, up there. Onto there, onto there, onto there. So, yeah, it's really, really lovely. I just love these sort of stuff. Got the little stars and the little tunes and the little love arts. So, yeah, so I've also got these in blue as well. And also, let's just get this. I also got that as well, which will be a nice little uh, ceramic nest. For Arabella or Casper, I'm not decided which one will get it yet, but yes, so that's uh, everything for this month, guys. And uh, yeah, so uh, pretty proud of this all actually, it's, it's uh, beautiful. Uh, I'm coming to the end of these now, so there's not, uh, I think there's, I don't think there's any, I think there's only about one or two left coming soon. In my wish list but um I'm, i won't be getting any more of them for a while so yeah so <sighs> don't go thinking oh is, is it going to be these every month no it won't these are the last now for a while <laughs> so yeah but they're still beautiful i've got absolutely loads of these type things now so i want to do um arabella a pink girly theme worm um, cage so these will be wonderful wonderful so yeah so what some of the stuff like is suitable for Syrians like this one this one and also the castle from last month so i'll, be, I'll probably t probably might lead these till i get a Syrian. so i don't know i know they could be washed and used again anyway but yeah but i've got loads of the dwarf ones as well so we don't know and uh yeah so that's it for this month oh regarding the one-eyed Syrian Rosie. I went in the other day to, to collect her, to, well, to see if she was there or were good to go in and get her. And when I went in, they'd, uh, they said that she'd been uh, re-owned, she'd someone's kind enough to take her. So I was so pleased, so pleased. So Rosie's in a nice new home, so she'd been adopted. So that's good, otherwise I would have took her. So, yeah, just in case you're wondering, guys. So that's all good and well, yes. So there we go guys, catch you later.